Oh, John, if it wasn't perfect, it was damn close. We lost a friend in this latest episode of Yellowstone, but it was an end any cowboy would dream of. This week's Yellowstone takes a bit of time out from all the punching each other and betrayal for some heartbreak. Well, a little bit of time off, not too much. Here's my ulterior motive. You want to hear it? We're recapping season five, episode six of Yellowstone, Cigarettes, Whiskey, A Meadow, and Fog. I'm Anna Rumor. This is Pop Culture Social Call. We last left the Duttons heading out on the gather to brand some cattle. And while it's mostly a contemplative experience for our crew, I don't like to share the things I find beautiful. You know what I mean? It also comes with some tragedy for John's old rancher buddy Emmett, who doesn't wake up one morning after bedding down by a tree for the night. Now, obviously, this is so sad, but John is happy his friend got the perfect cowboy ending. Couldn't have dreamed up a better death if you paid me. You sure earned it, old friend. Back in town, things are significantly less peaceful as the Secret Service randomly shows up to Broken Rock to shoot a bunch of stray dogs. Okay, I get it. They're securing the area for a surprise presidential visit, but I don't think the Secret Service just goes out willy-nilly shooting dogs. People really like dogs. Anyways, it was kind of a weird segue to Rainwater finding out that Angela helped organize the president coming by to endorse his political rival. And I'm excited to see more political tension from these two moving forward this season, as long as we leave the dogs out of it. It's a big day for the people. It's just another day for the people. Big days for you. And speaking of tension, there's a whole different kind of tension continuing between Jamie and Sarah Atwood, who are continuing to get hot and heavy. And she has no ulterior motives at all, you know, aside from maybe helping Jamie steal his dad's governor's seat and getting the airport project back on track. Help me win, governor, and I'll give you your airport. Ah, seems like Jamie's in. Now back from the gather, John has to break the news to Emmett's wife. Now this was a really emotional scene and unbeknownst to him, the press catches the moment on camera. How? Like the cowboy should. John's sometime flame, Senator Linnell, urges him to find some time to meet with the president while he's in town. But John scoffs at the idea that he should be doing politics instead of branding cattle and eating barbecue. You know, this whole governor job, it's a real drag. And you know, it kind of looks like we're going to get a happy ending with this episode, which is so not Yellowstone, but not so fast. Right before the credits roll, we're back with Jamie and Sarah, who I hope have gotten some Gatorade or something because they've been in bed this entire episode. Now watching the news, the two are shocked to see John not being criticized for ghosting the president, but praised for his sweet moment with Emmett's wife. He's hard to beat in a fair fight. I don't think we can let him show up to the fight, Jamie. And let the scheming begin. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode in the comments. Like and subscribe on our channel and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call.